Alright guys, welcome back to another killer video for today. Today we have a little bit of Trapper gameplay. Now, <clears throat> for our Trapper build, we're going to have a pretty standard one. First up, we have Thrilling Tremors. Whenever you pick somebody up with this perk, all the generators that are currently not being worked on by a survivor will get blocked for 16 seconds by the entity and they will be highlighted in white. Essentially what this means is neither the killer nor the survivor can interact with the generator whether to kick it or work on it. And the killer will have information about what generators are currently being worked on because the generators that have somebody currently uh, actually working on them will be in red as opposed to the ones that will have no one, which are white. Next up we have Agitation. Agitation is a perk where whenever you carry somebody on your shoulder you will move 18% faster and you will have a terror radius increased by 12 meters. Now this is really nice because it just lets you get to hooks a lot quicker, gets, lets you get to hooks that are further away and it will let you get some sneaky hits on people that don't expect you to be moving this fast. Next up we have Pop Goes the Weasel, this is a perk where whenever I hook somebody I will have 60 seconds to determine, uh, or to find a generator and kick it by 25% of its total progress. This is really helpful to have with Thrilling Tremors because you can hook somebody, see where the, if the generator is red with Thrilling Tremors and immediately go kick it if it is red. And next up we have Corrupt Intervention. This is one of the best killer perks in the game by far. Pop Goes the Weasel, of course, I think, in my opinion, is the best killer game, but this is not a... This is not far off, in my opinion. Essentially what Corrupt Intervention will do is it'll make it so that whenever you spawn in, <coughs> the three generators that are furthest away from you will be blocked for two minutes at the start of the trial. This means that there's going to be three generators on the map that the survivors can't interact with for two minutes. And since it's the three furthest away from you, it'll usually be some generators that survivors are near. So this will give you a lot more time early on without letting a generator pop too quickly. Now for our add-ons, we have Trapper Gloves to slightly increase the bear trap setting speed. And, excuse me, the Trapper Sack to start with an extra bear trap and allow us to carry one extra bear trap at all times. Anyways guys, let's get right into the video. <laughs> you know what, at least this is actually a good trapper map. As much as I hate it, it's a good trapper map. I'm gonna put the... Uh, that's actually kind of poorly placed. I'm gonna put this in the... Well, they're, they're gonna, they can run around that. It's fine, I'll just leave it there. Why not? So basically what you can do as Trapper is you can make a set some of these rooms that... This is not one of these rooms. Some of these rooms that only have one escape path, you can actually... <coughs> you can actually just completely block them off. Uh, without breaking... If you don't break the other door, that would lead to a separate escape route. Basically. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but what I do know is I have to find somebody because I'm about to lose the generator. Maybe two. Let's see, this one below me has progress. Whoever this is hit very close by. There we go. I see you're into a tree. Or not a tree, sorry, your locker. Why is he a tree? What the fuck? Yeah, I didn't think she would have a. Uh, that hard. <laughs> Ooh, no obsession either. That's really nice. Right, I block off all the generators with. Isn't there a thing here? Yep. Cloud thrilling's about to wear off. Okay, none of the generators have are, are being touched currently, so I can just come over here to this generator and kick it. Pop goes the weasel. Okay. Hello, Dwight. Oh, he was AFK. You can see he has a crow on him. Whoopsie. I thought he would juke to the right, but I guess not. And there's someone else off to the left. Vaulted immediately into me, please. Thank you. Yeah, there was somebody in this hallway just now. Scrimper's on the Claudette. I'll try and get a hit on her here, then I'll go back to kick it. Damn it! Alright. Doesn't matter, I got a pile out of the way. I can't go to punish that pickup right now. Actually, you know, I have time. That generator is gonna keep going, pop with a weasel, but it's more important for me to get this. Alright. Someone else is here and they're injured. I'm looking following the blood here. Or 
they? I think they're back here somewhere. Yep, he's on this generator. So basically, I'm just going back and forth here. I shouldn't have actually given him this way. Ah, never mind, it's fine. I can get a grab here so it'll directly, or uh, <coughs> immediately trigger Thrilling Tremors, and I can see that on the generator upstairs. I'm gonna take my pop over here to the generator. I think that's probably the better option. Damn it. Hold on. I don't actually. Fuck, I don't actually want to go upstairs though. Uh, not through there. Did I just see someone out here? No. Okay. Alright, I'll kick the generator pop with the way hole and I'll go upstairs this way, I guess. Damn, I actually have a few generators with a lot of progress. Hey, you're injured, by the way. Just letting you know. Okay. I don't know why she didn't leave earlier, considering she's injured and doesn't have strippers, but I'll take it. Alright, I'll kick this generator to pop goes a weasel, and I can go over across the across the second floor to try and pressure that other generator. Here we go. I'm actually gonna trap here. Because this makes us that if they try and leave through this room, they'll uh, get trapped 100%. She has her sprint burst, she's gonna use it. Ooh, she didn't actually have a sprint burst. This is where we don't camp pallets, by the way. That right there. That right there. <laughs> Camping pallets is not worth it at all. She's making no noise on the ground, unfortunately, which is really annoying. Did I see any generators on? The one downstairs, okay. I'll hook her over here, because I believe below me is the stairwell I have trapped. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get over to the generator as quickly as possible. Basically, if they go for her from downstairs, there's a pretty solid chance that they're gonna end up that they're in a good get, uh, they're going to end up getting themselves down or trapped. I mean, uh, I thought this generator had more progress than this. This is a mistake coming over here. I'm gonna come across here, then I'm gonna go to the right to get upstairs. <laughs> uh, can I pick you up off the little... Hello? I can't pick him up. That sucks. I don't actually want to destroy it, so I'm going to turn around. This is a really solid pallet to have down, honestly, because I can just keep doing this. If they're not careful upstairs, they'll end up walking into it. Is there a way out? Through here, oh, it's just inside. They're healing right above me. That's okay. I think they're healing. Maybe it's just a passive map noise out of here. I really wish I had a trap right now, honestly. I just generated. I actually don't even want to. I don't want to leave this area right now, really. Although I pop goes a weasel, it's not worth me using it. She's holding her spirit burst for me. She was probably self-caring considering how long it took her to heal. Now I'm actually gonna... I would... Yeah. I mean, going for him is just a better play in every scenario. I could be an asshole and go... And leave this guy on the ground and go pressure those guys wherever else they were. But it's fine. I don't need to right now. <laughs> That's why I like that trap a lot. That's why I think trappers are actually pretty solid on this map. There's so many corners like that where you can trap. Was it this trap, I wonder? Yeah, that's the one that's uh, popped. Alright, I'm pretty sure this ace had sprint burst, so I ended up making him waste all of it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that Ace has Sprint Burst, so me going back and forth like that, was, that little wiggle threw him off and made him waste the majority of his Sprint Burst. I'll trap this again, because it's a good trap. That's a God Pal right there, meaning that they're going to be wanting to go to it as much as possible, probably. I don't actually think I know who the fourth person is here. 
Um, this is what agitation lets you do, dude. You see how fast I fucking caught up to her? <laughs> I love it so much. There we go. This is game over. <laughs> it's okay. I want to kick this. Nothing else for the points. I'm at a point where really it doesn't matter what they do. I'm surprised they didn't undo that trap. Don't tell me I ran in here. Somebody ran around here. I can see your blood, by the way. <laughs> Just letting you know, gamer. He have Iron Will? What's this guy's name? Storm Sphere. He was making literally zero breathing noise. I, I could hear his footsteps, but I couldn't hear his breathing at all, so I'm gonna check after this game and see if he was just bugged or can I get through? Or if he had Iron Will. Now, if a Claudette gets hatched, she gets hatched. I don't really care. I don't have any way to track her, but what I can do is I can trap the doors. So if I find the hatch, then I'll be in a really good spot. Like I've said in the past, Trapper has the best late game in the game, in the, the entire game in my opinion, because you can trap the doors, and it's so it's so reliable. Like Hag can do something similar, but at the end of the day, Hag can't really. Um, also, we okay, rude. We trap one door, then leave the other one. We look for the hatch after the sec after the first door. I didn't think she'd go back inside here. Okay. I mean, that's just rude. Go to your right. Nope. If she goes to the pod at the end, she gets trapped. Oh. Step in it. So if they're, uh, if they're uh, snapping the trap open, they can't actually, you can actually walk through the trap. It's a pretty cool mechanic. <laughs> um, obviously survivors can walk through it as well. But yeah, what I was saying uh, is basically if you're going to be going for the late game, you trap one door, look for the hatch, and then after you, after you close the hatch, you trap a second door. That's usually the most optimal way to do it because that way you can have the one door set on lockdown beforehand. And the second door you can lock down after you close the hatch, after you've secured it and make sure the fourth person can't get out, basically. Yeah, I mean, you guys saw why I think it's a pretty good trapper map. Uh, there's just a lot of lanes where survivors don't really have an option about where they're going to run. So they end up just running into your traps over and over again. He didn't have Iron Will. This guy was completely silent without, uh, <laughs> without the perk to be silent. This is why people don't run Iron Will, probably, because they know that the game's just going to fucking bug out. It's cool to see red ranks, though, and I haven't seen them in a while. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.